Hello, Jeff Dean here. Welcome to the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. And now we're just approaching the entrance to Epcot itself. Uh, that spaceship Earth right there. And making our way up to the entrances. There's Spaceship Earth in the background there, which is a communications ride from the dawn of time up to uh, present day and into the future, all down to communication of some sorts. So these are virtually your turnstiles. You hold your ticket uh, against there, it's valid, it goes green, and you're inside the park. And the first thing that greets you is this wonderful display of butterflies, flowers, thousands and thousands of flowers in the park at this particular time of year. I mean, it, it really it really does look spectacular. It looks lovely on film. It looks even better to actually be here, believe me. There's lots of fountains all over the place. This is the first one that greets you just before... You're inside the gates now, just, just before you get to Spaceship Earth itself. What, sorry? Um... I don't think so. And there we go, a proper close look from the exterior of Spaceship Earth itself. It's a full ride experience that takes you, it's a slow ride as well, takes you through the beginning, the dawn of time, well not the dawn of time, but the beginning of communications up to the present day. Now this is all part of Future World. There are two parts to Epcot, there's Future World and World Showcase, so it's like having two theme parks all in one. Uh, this is the first part of it, and there's also an east and west side uh, to this particular part of the park as well. And I guess this might be sort of like the, the central hub area of Future World. This up ahead is called the Fountains of Nations. Runs throughout the day, uh, either as a default or it suddenly goes into a song and dance setting and it looks even lovelier at night as well with all the underwater lighting. It's not actually known as an attraction as such, but it's very picturesque and it's operating all the time from the minute that you come into the park when oh, well, I say it's operating all the time it's operating uh, at intervals but otherwise it does have a default setting which doesn't look too dissimilar to this a cars land and lots more flowers and plants and shrubs and things that are put in for this particular time of year I suppose you call this a sort of a, a topiary. Heading down, this is uh, one side of, uh, uh, what would you call this, the west side of Future World. All in Epcot itself, and heading towards Mission Space. Now Mission Space is a simulator ride. It does involve spinning um, all over the place and you do actually feel like that uh, you are in deep space. 
and you get the feeling of weightlessness as well, which is very, very, very unusual, but you, you do get that. It's, it's, it's quite an interesting experience. There are two versions of this. There's the green version and the orange version, more intense version. Go for the green version if you're not sure. You take note, there's a lot of palm trees around here as well, scattered. There's the monotrain, monotrain red running through there. As I say, lots of, lots of palm trees all over the place now. It's really nice, very strategically placed. This is what we've come for today, the Flower and Garden Festival. And there's no shortage of plants here. No shortage of flowers, no shortage of colour. Is it, I mean, isn't that fantastic? It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's, it's very eye-catching. Not only to see on film, but even more so in real life. Is that mint? No, I can't smell anything at the moment. So we're now heading into the butterfly area now. Hello. It's a little bit more warmer in here because you're kind of uh, you're away from any breezes outside. But it's it's really lovely. It's a lovely experience. It really is. These particular areas are only open, uh, I would say, in the springtime. There's all sorts of things happening throughout the year in uh, Epcot itself. And this is just one of the things that it runs for about three months. Uh, during the autumn times, you'll have the food and, uh, food and wine festival. There are gardens and flowers and plants and trees all year round in Epcot itself, but uh, they they make uh, a big meal of it mm -hmm. this time of year. Okay. And I think it's really worth it as well. So if you're into horticulture and you're a king gardener, this and you have to be in the, the area at the time do drop in do do give this place a visit you won't be disappointed It will tell you the names of most of the plants here and a little bit about them as well. Also the butterflies, there's descriptions and a write-up about them as well. Certainly bring a camera with you anyway. I'm using two cameras at the moment, one's the GoPro 
and the other one is the DJI Osmo Pocket and this is the DJI Osmo Pocket because it's a little bit closer and it's got a little bit of a, a different feel. Actually, I, I love the, the, the uh, Osmo because this particular Osmo because the way I have it set up gives it a little bit more of a film look than the GoPro and the GoPro will give you more in your picture but they both run in 4K. both running on a, a steady cam system but my favorite of the two of them are the the Osmo itself but I do like the GoPro all the same it, it, they both have their their places I suppose we should do soon, shouldn't we? Yeah. Is it better then to Yeah, probably. See this all these water plants now, that's that's something that's quite common or has been quite common in SeaWorld and especially bush gardens as well. Where do we want to go in? I don't know if a Cypress Garden still has uh, this sort of thing. It used to years ago. There's more water plants there. Tons and tons of, of gardens and displays all over the place. We're still only in World Showcase at the moment. The what? Yes. Yeah, it is, yeah. Take, try to take the film when the sun's shining if possible as it gives a much more better look to everything still in future world it's goofy one of the dogs followed by that's the upright standing dog and then we've got Pluto as well Another look at these wonderful garden displays here. Still all in uh, Future World. Anybody that thinks that a lot of the American theme parks are all to do with roller coasters and going around fast tracks and spinning around and around in circles, uh, you couldn't be completely wrong. In some theme parks, that is exactly what it's about. Um, in the Florida ones, especially the Disney ones, they do have one or two rides that will do exactly that and some parks more so than others um, but no the, the, this is this is a park with more attractions than rides but it does have a few rides and most of those are gentle rides one or two except things like test track and mission space they are what you would call a white knuckle ride apart from which though most everything else is quite uh, easy going really and great for the family can you see the backward waterfall in the distance there this is Figment he's a dragon If you notice on the travel, some of the bins that are about, uh, they're, they're coloured to the areas. The silver and purple trimmings on there, but all over Disney they have that particular type of bin. And they, they vary in colour to the different areas that they're within.
So now making our way into World Showcase and passing more flowers and blooms. And here we are in World Showcase, Huey, Dewey and Louie. And here we are now overlooking the World Showcase Lagoon with uh, 11 countries of the world around the perimeter. This little shuttle ferry will take you from this area over to, I don't know if it's the American area or Morocco, Germany, France, Italy, one of them. Uh, see if I can remember the 11 countries of the world. United Kingdom's down there somewhere. France, Canada, Italy, Germany, uh, Morocco, Japan, China, Norway, Mexico. Have I missed any out? Did I say Italy? Have I missed something out? Oh, United States of America as well. we are in Canada now this is Canada this is called Victoria Gardens I think it might be a sort of a, like a small version of what is it called the Bouchard Garden Bouchard Gardens and they are huge these these aren't so huge but they are lovely all the same again lots more flowers. you will find flowers here all year round in this particular set of gardens don't you just love these water flowers what a lovely idea that is. You just literally float on the water. It's, that's, that's great, that is. So it's a beautiful day today. Of hanging baskets everywhere. Canada has a restaurant or two restaurants, eateries, and an attraction, a circular 360 degree circular vision presented by Martin Short. Which is worth watching if you're in the area. They're man-made, but they try to make them look like they're caused naturally. And they've done a good job as well. Let's have a look at the World Showcase Lagoon. That's Italy in the background over there. You see St. Mark's Square and the tower. Bambi, we're missing what's happening in the foreground here, aren't we? That's, that's, that's lovely, absolutely amazing.
And believe it or not, though, this is United Kingdom. At its best, I'm going to say. Epcot will make every country look at its best. There we go. I can tell you those telephone boxes, I've been in there before. Uh, in the UK, those our telephone boxes, when we used to have them, were quite heavy to open. Those, I think they were just made out of wood. They just opened too easy. I can see Mexico over there, Norway, parts of China. Just walking around the lake uh, itself and visiting all the countries could take you a whole day to do and do it properly. There's also a nighttime firework display on the lake itself. Still in the UK with uh, some of the nicest buildings you've ever seen. and gardens. And they do have a park here as well. Morocco, this is Morocco. Again, you get to uh, experience some of the sights and sounds of a Moroccan area. Shops, restaurants, entertainment, street entertainers, when they're about. It happens randomly through the day. And there's no shortage of public restrooms uh, in any of these, but in any of the theme parks, you'll find them everywhere. Or bins, you only have to go a few yards and you're looking to get rid of your rubbish that you've just bought your ice cream or you, you just finished your coffee and you've got your coffee cup there. There's a bin, you, you just count them. Uh, they're, they're only within a few yards of each other. A lot of little bonsai trees there. Very sweet. Here's Japan. As I say, you can really take your time going inside all these areas. And you have a you'll have a great day just travelling from country to country trying a little piece of food from each place that you visit, buying something. So that about wraps it up for the day. And I will say thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Do subscribe to my channel so you'll be up to date with all the latest comments. Thanks very much. See you all again very soon on YouTube. Cheers.